Hey guys, what's up, Taurus? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. Um, the situation, any obstacles in your way, whether good or bad, and also the outcome of that situation. Um, keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip-flop it how you need to. Taurus. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Immediate future for Taurus. Me. Um, also on Friday evening, I'm going to post your month ahead for October. So if these readings um, resonate with you, make sure that you definitely um, look out for that. Um, especially if you've had like some toxic people in your life, because it's like a good opportunity to change the energy and avoid that. Kind of like with these, if you see an outcome you don't like, um, you know. You do have free will to change this, change the outcome. So, um, all right, Taurus. Not loving the outcome of this one either. So, possibly. All right, let's see. Somebody is definitely holding back here. This is your energy with the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another Earth sign. Um, or this could kind of be you, like, holding back on your money right now. Um, but there, there is this person, somebody, you know, the person you're dealing with could be younger than you, doesn't have to be. Um, we also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is like somebody not opening up, not expressing, um, their self emotionally here. It's definitely possibly like us, yeah, the hangman. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. Um, but there's been some type of upheaval between you and this person, some type of tiresome situation. And it's like this This has just kind of been at a crossroads. This is a situation that's not moving for whatever reason. So this is somebody that you already know. Um, or, you know, this is possibly you needing to make a decision and you're trying to get some clarity on it. Um, you're waiting for something to happen here with someone or something. I feel like it's someone because we have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like there's someone specific on your mind. Yeah, that you're possibly wanting to start something new with, but it's just, it's not moving right now. Show me this Knight of Cups for Taurus, please. Um, like I said, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person could be younger. Okay, so th there's something that's ended here. Someone, I feel like this person, hmm, I'm interested to see the outcome now because... Someone is heartbroken here. They could be at a distance, but it's like, um, they cut something out. I'm not sure if this is really you ending something. Um, possibly this is them. Like, cause you've been kind of holding back here and things have, haven't been moving. Hmm. I almost feel like they're coming towards you. This somebody's coming for was wanting to come forward. This is a soulmate, like I said, someone that you've dealt with with that six of cups. But somebody is like heartbroken here. Um, possibly like somebody had an epiphany, like an aha moment. They may be speaking their truth here, but this is a this is somebody ending something. Hmm. What is this Ten of Swords? I'm not, because I'm just not, maybe something did end for you. I guess that would be different, but I almost feel like they ended something. On their end. Let's see where this goes. So, for the outcome, this is what I don't like. Um, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. So, this lets me know. Somebody is being freaking deceitful here and sneaky. This is liar, cheater, thief. This two of pentacles is going back and forth between like two people, two energies, like bouncing like ping pong. Or what's some old um, pinball machine from back in the day? Like it just goes back and forth. Show me this two of pentacles. 
yeah, this shit is heavy, overwhelming, um, one-sided. It's definitely difficult. It's a difficult feeling. Show me the seven of swords. Ah, okay, I see. So, show me the seven of swords first. Yeah, okay. Cool, got it. So, this is the sitch. <laughs> this is you over here, like, not moving at all. Not opening up, not talking, not making any kind of moves towards someone or something. You're completely stagnant. You got like that bull mentality going on. You know, once you get something set in your head, that's where it's at. And there's a situation that you're taking, and this is love related, that you're taking no action towards at all. So, this person, um, there's an ending here for the obstacle. And I feel like this is their feeling. Like they're, they're realizing possibly that this is over. Or there could be an ending, um, some betrayal, some backstabbing, but I feel like that's kind of happened in the past because you've dealt with this person before. So the fact that you're not moving is kind of leaving somebody feeling like, extremely defeated here, um, heartbroken, like kind of feeling like they're cut out. And it's like that realization is sitting in with them now. So for the outcome, though, this is, this is, um... I don't like those two cards like I told you because that's somebody, you know, bouncing back and forth between two energies. Kind of something off balance with, with the justice there. You could be dealing with a Libra, but like the scales are freaking not tilted. So, I mean, um, they're tilted. Somebody's left carrying all the weight and it's like now that somebody is feeling because of this deception, somebody is, is getting left behind here. They're getting ghosted. So I feel like you're just holding back. And this person, that's, that's how they're feeling. I'm kind of seeing this definitely as feeling. Um, because there is an ending. But I feel like it's more a feeling of defeat. Because somebody is having a realization. They're having an epiphany here. Like, oh shit. This is over. Because you're not moving. Definitely could be some arguments. Some competitive relationships. Um, around this, possibly, you know, like jealousy. Um, if this is somebody you're dealing with, there's definitely an ending here. Whether I feel like this is somebody kind of realizing that this is ending because you're just holding back so much. Um, but if this is somebody you're dealing with and, you know, things that you haven't really been so holding back, I don't like that outcome because somebody is getting breadcrumbed and ghosted. They're, they're getting, I hate to just say it like this, but they're getting played. There's someone else. But I kind of feel like this is, you know, you hold, you've been holding back and somebody, somebody is, is finally realizing, you know, um, that this is over. You could possibly work with this person. You don't have to, but, um, there's definitely an ending nonetheless. There's heartbreak here for someone. The outcome is not good. Especially if you're dealing with this person now. This is toxic. Somebody is, is being deceitful in some way. Shoot, it could even be, it don't even have to be about another person for real. It could be about money. Because this dude is a liar to your thief. And this is feeling a lack thereof. So it could be, you know, somebody like taking somebody's money. But this isn't, I mean, this isn't ending well for someone. This, if you're with this person, this could be like a, a, a breakup. This is a breakup. I hate to just say it like that because, you know, I'm not trying to be insensitive. There's just something realized here. You got free yourself 
it's time to take back control of your life. Which for some of you, that's what you're doing. And somebody's just having an epiphany here. Um, for others of you, this is, this is, and you can't trust this. Um, and then you also got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So stay optimistic and take control. Let your friends help you. Ask for and support. Um, I'm sorry. Ask for and accept support from others. And there, stay optimistic again. So, you know, um, however that's resonating for you, um, take it as you will. You can't trust this if you're if you're with this person. And you'll know if this is your story because there ain't no way. You, I mean, this is you holding all the way back. No movement whatsoever. But see, the thing is, around your energy, we have no movement. And that's all we have. We don't have this heartbreak around it or this feeling ghosted. Like, this is over here. Yes, but this is with this Knight of Cups. So it's like you're just you're just not moving. I don't feel a lot of heavy emotions around you. It's almost like you're just there's no emotions. There's just holding back and waiting. We have emotions over here though with this um, three of swords and ten of swords. This is a defeated heartbreak, a separation, uh, feeling lied to. You know, just that's defeat. Um, a overwhelming feeling, very heavy for someone, two tens, and we have the death card over here, so this is definitely over for now, somebody is getting ghosted, because there, there was, there was deceit, either with money or, or another person, but like I said, I don't feel emotions around you, I don't see emotions around you, I think mainly this is caused by you holding back, but there could be something, you know, coming out here as well. All right, Taurus, hope this helps. Hope this resonates. If so, please like and subscribe below. Um, and make sure you check out that video on Friday. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.